Yo. It would help if my microphone was in front of my face. Yo. What up? Let me do this. How's everyone doing? Welcome back to a stream. We're going to be playing some Resi 8 today. Liam, thank you for the Prime. Super, or Supreme, thank you guys. Thank you for the three months. Leanne, thank you for the sub. Skylar, thank you for the four months. Appreciate that. Thank you guys. Wait for everyone to filter in. Bum, bum, ba -dum. How did you know I was pooping? I can just sense it. I can, I know it. Blum. Turn this up a bit. I have to use two PCs for Resi because it's just a bit of a, a bit of a guzzler on frame rate and stuff. Unless, actually, hold on. I need to change something in the settings, I think. Uh, that might actually make it a bit better. I had the same with Subnautica yesterday. It was like devouring my entire GPU. And then I turned on VSync and it was like, oh, never mind. It's down to 40% now. Because normally VSync stinks for games that need like quick inputs, but Subnautica is one of those. Which, yes, I recorded below zero yesterday. It'll probably go up tomorrow. Um, I had a lot of people messaging me, asking me to play it, and when the series would start, and when it would go up and everything. So yes, it, it's happening. I can't believe people thought it wouldn't happen. Um, Tanya, thank you for the gifted sub. Lauren, thank you for the 100 bits. Sorry to watch the entire game again and fast forward. Yeah, I'll talk about what we're going to do in a second. Banana, thank you for the five gifted. Uh... Rasta baby, thank you for the gifted sub. Dope, thank you for the two gifted. I love squirrel, thank you for the five gifted. Uh, Pixel, thank you so much for the sub for ten months. Quiet flower, thank you for the thousand bits. <laughs> Haven't finished the YouTube videos, but sure fuck it. Um. Yeah, if you don't care about spoilers, then I think it's fine. I'm going to be skipping all the cutscenes anyway. So you're not going to get too spoiled, but there's going to be some chatter here and there about stuff that's happening. So I think if you don't care about spoilers, then it's fine. But if you care about spoilers, then you're going to want to avoid this because we're going to be going through the entire game. Uh, Sophie, thank you for the sub. Tiffany, thank you for the sub. Tempo, thank you for the two gifted. Dark Souls opening? No, Bloodborne opening. Even better. I was watching your old Subnautica yesterday. I imagine a lot of people are, because they're gearing up for the new game. But yeah, I played an hour of it yesterday. Didn't make much progress, but trying to get in and like understand what's going on in the new world of it, because they rewrote the whole game. Which some of it I'm not too happy about, because I played the original and I was like, oh, I, I liked how that sounded and how things were going. So they completely rewrote it and changed how it is set up and the premise of it and everything, so... Still fun, though. <laughs> Among Us? Remember when we played Among Us, like, every single day? It was like an Among Us video every second day, almost. That's crazy. Doby, thank you for the two gifted subs. Lil American, thank you for the gifted sub. Uh, Faith, thank you for the five gifted subs. And Cry, thank you for the gifted sub. Thanks, guys. 
Darcy, Kelby, Kat, Nina, thank you guys for the primes and subs. Turtles too much, thank you for the 15 gifted. <laughs> That's so sweet of you, thank you. When Among Us was popular. I mean, every game has like their time in the sun. Resi 8 is super popular now. Give it a month, no one will be playing it again. I guess it's different, it's a single player game. How am I today? I'm pretty good. Um, okay, now that some people are here and people have started to filter in, we're going to be playing the entirety of Resi 8 again, but I've been playing it a bunch. Um, let me actually open up the game. Um, I've been playing it a lot, and as you can see, I, down here, I have some stuff unlocked. I got the Dragoon and the USM A1. These are the guns that Chris uses at the end of the game. Again, if you haven't seen the Resi 8 series or if you haven't played it yourself, this is going to be full of spoilers, so. Charlie beat this in seven hours, it's crazy. I'm down to two and a half. My fastest time has been two hours, 36 minutes. Um, but it's not like a start over from fresh run. Um, that's a different story. I'm trying to see how fast I can beat the game, like how quick can I actually do it, given the stuff that I can get? So, I've unlocked infinite ammo for the Dragoon. I wanted to get infinite ammo for the WCX, because it's really strong, but I'm missing one upgrade for it. And I have the stake as well, which is like a crazy good magnum. So, what I want to do is, we're starting over from fresh. We're starting with some of these guns with infinite ammo, and I'm going to try it on easy mode. Because if I, I've, I beat it on hardcore in two and a half hours with like, I can't remember what I had. I think I had the USM A1, uh, which made it a bit easier. Because I'm just trying, I, people have said like, try it on harder difficulties and try it fresh. But that goes against like, trying to do it as fast as possible. Like to do it as fast as possible, you need to not have to go looting for anything, not have to craft much. And also not have to go explore for treasures, you're not going to watch any cutscenes. And you also don't need enemies to be bullet sponges. And on Hardcore and Village of Shadows difficulty, the enemies just become so much harder. Even with infinite ammo, you have to pump a bunch of bullets into them to kill them. So, we're going to try it on easy with the Dragoon on infinite ammo. Um, but I'm still going to try and work. This isn't going to be the only time I do this, I'm going to do another stream eventually as well, because... I need one more upgrade for this, and then I can get infinite ammo in it, and I want to try that. And then the stake is like... I think it might be the most powerful handgun in the game. Like, the most powerful magnum. I might be wrong, though. Um, unless the hand cannon PZ is stronger. Um, but I'm curious, because the stake has some upgrades for it as well, and I need to get those, and I need to get all of the... I need to get all of the stat upgrades, and then I need to get all of the, like, red dot sights and mags and stuff like that, and then I can get infinite ammo for that. And I think infinite ammo on this, on easy mode, new game plus, I can probably get the game down to about an hour and a half. I think. If I just plow through, skip all the cutscenes, and just kill only what I have to kill. And that's my goal, is to see just how fast I can do it. It's not about doing like a new fresh game speedrun or anything like that, it's not even a speedrun. I'm just curious how fast I can do it. So, for this run today, we're gonna have the Dragoon, which is Chris's gun, which kills things in like, four hits normally. It's like three headshots, I think, um, on most enemies, and then on easy mode, it should be even quicker. So, I my goal for today in this stream is to get the game sub two hours. I finished the game four times now. I The main one for the series, I finished it again after that just to get some extra unlocks. Then I did one on Hardcore, which has been which was like the two and a half hour run, and then I beat it again. Oh no, I did it again before that, which is was three hours, and then it was two and a half hours on hardcore. So I think I can get it down sub two hours today. Oh my god. Dragon Legend, thank you so much for the 75 gifted subs, Jesus Christ. Thank you, that's so generous, I really appreciate that, thank you so much. <laughs> um... I'll, I'll do it for you, Dragon, and Executor, thank you for the five gifted, and Chels, and TikTok, and Daphne, and Bunny, for all of y'all! We're gonna see if we can get it down sub two hours. Um, 
we're gonna have to load the most recent save and go casual. So, if you're here to get an in-depth experience of what it's like to play Resi 8, this is not gonna be the series, because all of these cutscenes are getting skipped as, as much as I can. Did you say something? No, Nothing. I'm putting the baby I'll down. Put down! Oh my god, what is happening? You guys can't see it on your screen. What the fuck? Ah! It's like I said to you. My screen is blacking out. What the fuck? Every now and then I can't see anything on my screen. Maybe because V-Sync is on, it's fucking it up. Looks too scary for you. Yep, it went away. Oh my god, that was so weird. From like the bottom of the screen, it would go black halfway and then go away, and then go the entire way up and go away. Oh god, we're already cursed. I don't think menus count though towards the the speed. Coming, Mia. I'm coming for my beautiful food. No, you're not my wife. Can I go through this door? Oh, yep. What you making, Jambalaya? Sometimes you can't skip immediately either. It's the mold. The mold is creeping up. Get up, Ethan! Get up! You have a moldy baby to save! Um, but yeah, after playing the game a bunch of times, it's it's really, really fun. Like, the w oh, I wish I could go faster than this. It's really fun to replay it over and over again. It has incredible replay value. Most of the Resi games do. But this one is really, really fun. I don't, maybe it's just because it's the only one that I've tried to finish quickly. I haven't really tried this with Resi 2 or 7. Um, I still think some of the parts of the game are better than others, and cohesively as a whole, it doesn't really work perfectly together. I think some of the areas could blend together better, and the final boss, Miranda, could be brought into the game a, a bit sooner. I mean, she's in the game for the entire thing, but... I mean, like, character development-wise. I think that that could be better. But I really love the aesthetic and the setting. I also just wish Lady D was in the game more. Sorry, bird. Um. Yeah, people were getting really mad at me during some parts of this series as well, because I wasn't selling my guns. It was so funny in the second last episode, I was like, I'm selling my gun. I know people are going to get mad at me. And then <laughs> the entire comments for like four videos before that was everyone being like, Please fucking sell your guns! <laughs> this was funny, by the time I got there, everyone was like, Oh, thank God. And I was like, everyone's going to be mad at me. Can I skip this one? No. But yeah, I missed like a few small things here and there. And people were getting very angry about it in the comments. I'm like... I mean, I get it. It is annoying if you keep seeing the same thing over and over again in a video and then the Let's Player themselves doesn't uh, catch on to it. But at the same time, I'm like concentrating on 10 different things at once and sometimes stuff gets missed. Did you ever do that when you were a kid? You would watch your friend play games and they would always miss something and you're like, it's right there. Because you're like watching from a, an observer standpoint. I feel like that's kind of what it is. And I'm not the greatest at paying attention in the first place. But yeah, like little trinkets I would miss and people would get mad at it. I'm like, I, I get it, but as someone who's played Resi a bunch, I um, I know that it's not that important. I did make the mistake of keeping the first handgun though, which was dumb. But at the time it had bigger upgrades than the, the M19 and I wanted to save my money for the upgrades for other guns later on. So I wasn't going to upgrade the M19 anymore. So I just stuck with the main pistol. So it just made things a little bit all this. harder. But it was a fun series. I'm really glad that we we got to play it. It was in, it was incredibly successful on the channel, and people seemed to really enjoy it. And people were saying it was like watching a mini movie every time they came home from work or school or whatever they were doing. 
That was always really nice. Wow! Look at all that! I don't have any guns yet. I'll be shooting the shit out of birds to get money. Yeah, so I, I need to get a little bit of money, but I think I can probably just get it from the bosses. Bong! That's interesting. If you don't go through that house, the horse doesn't get dragged away. Every now and then I'm like, this is the right way, right? It doesn't matter how many times I've done it. I still forget. What happened? I hate that we didn't see Ethan's face. Yeah, it's interesting that they didn't show it, considering they made a model for his face for seven. Um, and you can see it by, like, no clipping. You can't see it in the game, but when you play as Mia, they left it... They made, like, a character model for him. You just can't see it fully. And then for this, they just completely omitted his face. Oh! Whoops, 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 whoops. Great start, Jack boy. That gun. Things die so quickly. What the hell? What the hell? Yeah, his character model is also just... I don't know, very plain. I mean, that's kind of what they go for with his character anyway, that he's more of a, a regular, everyday kind of guy. Can't kill him. Funnily enough. The starting section is interesting, though, because that big dude with the hammer that comes down, you can actually kill him if you have a strong enough gun. I can't open this door yet. Is it over? There we go. The Duke is MVP. Yeah, the Duke's the best character in the game. At least I think so. Wait, is this this is the right way? See what I mean? I keep getting turned around, even though I finished it a bunch. Have you used the fully upgraded Magnum yet? No, I actually sold the regular Magnum to buy the steak. And then I'm going to use that when that's fully upgraded. So that's what my money's kind of going towards. Damn it. Damn it. I think this section you just survive a certain amount of time, right? Because I, when I played it originally, I thought it was a case of you have to die. Because I felt like that's what happened when I did it. Oh my god. Why is there so much? Why is there aim assist on? How do I even turn aim assist off? Is that it? I don't know. I'll live with it. That's super weird. Why is aim assist even a thing on PC? Oh, because it's casual mode. Oh. Maybe? I don't know. Oh, actually, I think I'm supposed to climb this ladder. Casual mode, yeah! Still though, aim assist shouldn't be a thing on PC. You don't need aim assist. Or at least not by default. <laughs> Did you see that spray transfer? <laughs> There's no way to them. I mean, it does make it a little quicker. It just auto flips to enemies. I haven't played with aim assist in so long. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm unreal! I got aimbot! I got hacks! Woo! Everybody dies! <laughs> Did I like Resi 8? Yeah, I loved it. Damn, I guess... I guess I won't even need the Magnum at this point to do a fast run. Wait, when does the dude show up? Is it after like two minutes? 
five minutes? Oh, here he is. You're going down, big boy. <laughs> Easy mode plus this gun is fucking stupid. <laughs> Holy God. You can kill him? Yeah. It's just not really... I guess it's worth it for the money and what he gives you, but... I feel like... Like, playing it the first time, you're just kind of wasting ammo to do it. Is there anything I do here, or do I just wait? It's an achievement? Yep. You get combat points for it. This is Ethan Unleashed! This is I want my baby back mode! I'm gonna kill everything so quick that Ethan, they're not even gonna get a chance to split up Rose's body. Arrow guy? There are no arrow guys. There's just arrows raining from random locations. Oh, you mean the guy who's supposed to shoot me? Maybe. Isn't there supposed to be a person that shoots me? There we go. I don't know if there's a way of triggering that faster. Because that would really help for the sake of speed. Don't spoil, Jack. I mean, we're playing the entire game and skipping all of the story. I'm going to spoil it all. Oh. Shouldn't be watching this if you don't want spoilers. Oh. Give me all your bird money. I don't know where that one landed. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. It's super fun to plow through the game, though. And see just how quick you can do it. Also, you can break... Oh! You can break these, which I never knew the first time through. Ow. Don't worry! I'll find a solution! I found the solution! <laughs> Turns out it's like, oh, you could just brought your dad through there this entire time, and you didn't. Bad daughter! I think this we just wait as well. Find all the goats. No, we're not doing that today. We're super speed man today! This way. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Just out in the hallway running around. And then she opens up the door, I'm like, Hi! I'm ready! Oh no, Dad! <laughs> ah! Didn't even aim at him. Thank you, Ethan. You're kind. I'm coming. <coughs> the house isn't even the burnt yet. Fast. That's how fast I am. Look at that! I fixed it. Try not to breathe in the smoke. How did we get upstairs? I don't know. I'm a magic man. Thank you, Ethan. Kind of what? Ah, oh, we'll never know. I just I don't get it. This should have been our first sign that Ethan was a Superman when he punches the wall after losing two fingers. Uh, yeah. Spoiler. Uh, she died. Can I? God, I have to wait for two shots. There's no way you've moved her to the fucking flasks by now. I'm so quick. Yes. Shut up, old lady. I'm in a rush. 
Okay. I know it was funny. It wasn't that fucking funny. Guess this leads to the castle. What gave it away? Imagine just shooting the old lady here and the credits rolled. <laughs> oh! You guys only give me a, like, a couple of hundred. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, shut up, Miranda! I gotta go kill you! <laughs> I gotta go get my baby back from you! Stay there! The man is of no real use. So fast, Ethan hasn't even lost his hand yet. Uh, can't skip yet. He's awake! Ah, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ. What's going on, guys? Settle down. Jesus. This game is gorgeous. I went black. Oh, I went back and tried some, uh, what am I doing? Some Resi 7 recently. And that game looked great at the time, and it's so much different looking now. Mia fucked the corpse. The There's some weird implications. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Can I skip this? It's just some mold sex. Technically, he still has blood, so he's not fully dead. Wait, do those freaks have Rose? Hey, Ethan. That's un that's uncool now. Can't just call someone freaks like that. Just because they're different doesn't mean they're a freak. Plus, you're made of mold, bro! <laughs> Moldy baby batter. Ew. 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 I don't like that. <laughs> Look, Ethan didn't die for this. Ha! Ah! Give me money. Give me your bird money. Duke. What up, Dukey? Welcome, Ethan. Welcome. I Ethan. have something special today. Uh, ten crystal skulls. Yeah. Um. Oh my god, I have so many first aid kits. I can sell all my handgun bullets. Um. I'm not going to be using a shotgun. I'll upgrade my shotgun, but I have infinite ammo in this thing. So all I want right now is as much money as I can get. Yeah, yeah, I don't even have the grenade launcher anymore. I sold that ages ago. This is the WCX. It's really strong. It does 400 plus 30, and I just need one upgrade for it, and then I can get infinite ammo for that. The Dragoon does... The Dragoon's annihilating things, and that does 350 damage. Shoots at 0.11. This shoots at 0.1. Uh, 2.9, 2.6, 30, and 80. So the WCX is like the Dragoon on steroids. Um, and then the stake does 3,500 damage a shot. 3,500! It's like opening a black hole. Um, keep some pipe bombs and mines for some of the bosses. To think I would buy. Um, this doesn't count towards your time, right? Being in these menus. So for the WCX, I need to get... What? Foregrip for 80k. <laughs> Done. It's fully upgraded. That's all I needed to do in my last run, and I would have been able to use it for this run. With infinite ammo. Ah, uh, yes, I what have a you. stinky Once man I am. Until next we meet. Um, but now, having bought this, the next thing I need to get is, um, all of the upgrades for the stake. And then we'll be able to use that in a run. Although I think this might be... Could Rose be here? Probably. I don't know. What's up, George? Yeah, people are pointing out as well that that sound, 
that scream is the same scream from Dead by Daylight. One of the creatures or characters or something has it in the cutscenes to like crossover maybe? Like, no, they're all just stock sound effects. I mean, they are doing a crossover with Dead by Daylight eventually, but I don't think that they're trying to correlate one another. Stake does 4,500 damage at max. Ooh, baby. Then we can do a normal or a hardcore speed run. Can't skip this, can he? Easy mode, gotta play on hardcore at least. I finished it on hardcore. Again, I keep saying that goes against the how fast methodology, because then you're just left with bullet sponge enemies and it just inflates the the amount of time for the, the run. I'm just trying to be as fast as I can be. I'm using everything I can get to get to that point. Uh, Village of Shadows would be fun with the infinite magnum. I don't really want to play infinite shadows regularly. Because it's... The enemies just become annoying. Because the enemies just become complete sponges for bullets and it's just... It's not that fun. And you take extra damage as well. I don't really care. Um, where have they taken Rose? Here I kind of get a little lost on where I'm going first. I think it's up and to the left. No, up and to the right. Right. Knife only run? That would be really fun. I do want to do that at some point. Oh no, it's the bees! I haven't cut open a man in a while. Uh, you're not going to this time either. Slice your jugular and just watch. Take it alive. Well, you see how fast we're able to kill these sisters. You will look wonderful mounted in our hall. Bye! Oh, Lady D. I hate seeing you go, but I love to watch you walk away. What? Yeah, I missed some documents when I was playing it for the series, which I feel dumb about because they were right in front of me, but I was looking at pictures on the roof. <laughs> um, it said that Lady D has like a blood condition where she has to consume other people's blood to keep herself going. And that's why... She's like a vampire, which is cool. I thought she just kind of like wanted to be like a vampire for no reason. Ooh, don't grab me. I believe Cassandra caused all this mess. I know, what a stinker. Come this way. Thank you. A healthy man's blood. Mm. I can't wait. I don't know about that. Yeah, people pointed out as well, which is a cool detail, that uh, Lady D says that Ethan's blood is stale. Because he's dead. That's her dead. <laughs> What a joke! Oh no, I'm so scared! <laughs> Idiot! Stinky brain moron! Bruh! Ooh, sticky residue. Money, money, money! To be fair, it is one of the stronger guns in the game, and it is on easy mode, so of course it's going to be quick. <clears throat> wow! I've always wanted to do a run like this in Resi 2, though, in the remake. Because that game is perfect Shall for speedrunning stuff. It's just a little annoying, again, with the 
It's really annoying when enemies just grab you and lock you into animations all the time in these games. Oh, so thirsty. Me too. Drink some water. I got some water right here. Are you collecting light? Like, because I this is not the run that I want to like. It's not the run that I really oh really want to work on. Um, you want to see her disappear? She goes up the steps, and then you can still kind of see her. And then when you walk around the corner, she's gone. And then she's gonna scream. What have you done to my daughter? <laughs> daughter! Um, so I'm collecting lay because I want to upgrade the stake gun for uh, a better weapon for a different run later. For this run, we're just trying to get under two hours. I'm just trying to collect the money that I see as I'm going. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, it's blood everywhere, Ethan! Oh, no! Sorry. Sorry, fellas. Sorry. Oh, I just did a circle, didn't I? Oh, God, wait. Where's the way out of here? Huh? Oh, God, I'm lost. Uh-oh. Don't you know that I have a very timely place to be? I've got dad energy! Oh, balls. I mean, Ethan's the same. What have you done to my daughter? Fucking stole my kid. As much as I love that cutscene, I gotta get out of here. Hi! Oh. Go ahead, do your worst. Oh, she will. Every now and then I forget where I'm going. Subnautica so when? Tomorrow. Wolf Pain, thank you for the fight gifted. I need to be careful here, though, because I died trying to get through this area quickly. You will learn. Oh, when you skip the cutscene, it's like, where the fuck am I? Come this way. Because you can't heal or use any guns or anything right now. This isn't going to open in time. Haha, <laughs> stinky. No fucking way! The last time I did it, she didn't burst out through there because I got through the first section so fast. So I was like, oh, cool. Save me like 10 seconds. This is why I could never make a speedrunner. Too inconsistent. Uh, bye bye now. <laughs> Running will get you nowhere. It's gotten me everywhere. It's literally all I've done. Can I skip this. No. Lauren, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Foxy, thank you for the gifted subs as well. And Libra. Good as new. Good old righty. Good old jerky. Man, 
screw this castle. Sorry, lads. I have places to be. Oh, wait, I don't need to go in there. I don't think. Do I? Oh god, this puzzle now. Oh. And this hand was just cut off, by the way. I'm that good. Ethan's a legend. He's kind of grown on me. I was a little harsh on him before. It's also weird that they kill him off because they never kill off any characters in Resi. Boom. These paintings are so cool. That's no longer took. Is this life size? <laughs> I want to stand beside the life size cardboard cutouts that are like in game stops and whatever. I want to see how tall it, it, she actually is in real life because it's just so hard to imagine. Sniper money. I'm gonna destroy these fuckers. Ah, damn. They're so wacky. My only worry now is that I miss something vital by like skipping certain sections because I don't know exactly where everything is. I just run past all these guys, but I like shooting. I like feeling powerful. Shut the fuck up! Tape measure nine foot five, pretty damn tall. I know, but it's a different story than actually seeing her entire like stature in front of you. Like I can know that my roofs are so tall, and then think, oh, think like. I think like four feet above that or whatever, but it's not the same. How do you have infinite ammo? Uh, you unlock them in the store afterwards. It's basically like the cheat menu. Ceilings are five feet tall. I don't fucking know. No, obviously not. I'm just throwing out numbers for the sake of it. Stupid man thing. You won't live long. Oh, Even come on. A little bit further. Know your place. I do know my place. It's being PogChamp. Wait, is it this way that I go? 
Oh shit, now I can't remember actually where the next place is. Fuck. Wait, where do I go? Shit. Oh, this is gonna mess me up. Hi. Oh, this way. I think you can shoot these and they like burst into flies. There we go. Where did it go? Uh, this is why I kept a pipe bomb. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Not really the word I would use, but sure. Okay, I should be able to get out. Yep. But Dommy Mommy's gonna be out here. Uh oh! Ow! Your stomach task is done in by the likes of you! Why are you ain't the likes of me? I'm Pod Champ! Fuck you! Um, wait, which masks are which? Uh, pleasure is. four. Rage is three. Okay. Beautiful. Are you still up there? What's she doing? Two fifty was his fastest time so far. Right? Two thirty six is my fastest. I think this one is already going considerably faster. You gonna do a hundred percent run at some point? Ah. I'm not really a collectible type of person. Looks like you're outside. Now, I don't know if there's any like tricks to speeding up this fight at all, other than just shooting her. I don't know when I'm allowed to shoot her the most. Especially in the second part. Because there's achievements for beating them super quick, too. I did the one for House Beneviento by doing it in less than a minute 40. So that one's easy. I think this one is to like meter in less than three minutes or something. God, reloading sucks. Let's go back here. Less than two minutes? Oh god. Yeah, so there must be a trick to this that I'm missing. Bye. Oh god, <laughs> she's down already. Like maybe you don't let her break the walls or something like that. You can like force her into just this area. Okay. Like here, can I just keep shooting her? I don't think any of my bullets hit. I don't know if I can shoot her here either. I just wait for her to show up. 
Steak will do it? Probably, yeah. All the more reason to get it. How long do you think this run will take? Um, probably like an hour 50, maybe? Because this also has a slower reload speed than the WCX will. That's it, right? Yeah, baby! You're the one. Was that... Yeah, I did it! You have to beat her in less than, what? what? Did you say two minutes? So apparently that counted. But... Like, to get those points, it's like, yeah, just bring infinite ammo in a strong gun on easy mode and then... Like it's not as hard to do that it sounded like in the menu initially. Gross. Big booba gun. Yeah. Oh, here we go. She's here talking shite again. The winged key. Now this section I, I sometimes get a little lost in as well, because I think I have to go to the town and go to the red chimney building first. And when I do that, I get all turned around and where the where the map actually is. I think the game almost does a disservice to itself by having an over-reliance on the map. I know you need to open it to see if the rooms are cleared and whatnot, but you spend so much time like going in and out of maps all the time that it's like playing the Arkham games, the Batman ones, where you end up spending so much time in detective mode that you're not really looking at the game through <laughs> its like intended visual splendor. You know what I mean? What up, Dookie? Do you know the Duke is supposed to be the fifth lord? It's not just a rumor. I had a feeling you would pop up here. Although he does have a like family crest, so ah, maybe. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Ah, the Lady Dimitrescu. That waistline. Yes. I like how people were given Duke shit before the game came out. Beautiful even in death. 140k. Yes. Jesus. Um, let's just buy these ones for now. I'm gonna buy two upgrades for it. It's gonna be a while before I have that fully upgraded. Next we meet. I can't get through here yet. Oh god, I always get lost. Yeah. But yeah, people were giving shit for, to the Duke before the game came out because it was like, oh, he's not like... They're trying to make him like the merchant from Resi 4 and no one's as good as that What are you buying? kind of guy. Um, But he really grew on people. So 70408, right? Yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> kill you because I can. I don't even have to. I'm just a maniac. He also saved your ass? Well, yeah. Um, but there's stuff with the the merchant in the in Resi 4 as well. He's also technically saving your ass over and over again. 
Isn't Duke dead because of the explosion? Probably not. He probably got out of there. I mean, the fact that he's everywhere all the time. Oh, it's a big boy! Well, it was a big boy. Oh, wait, I'm not even supposed to be here. That's the Luthier's thing, right? I always make, mix that up. Shut up, I'm speed running. Damn it. Better see the Duke again. Yup. I'm not pick it up. Thank you. <clears throat> Hi from Romania. Oh, this is your land! Everything about it! How was it was Pog Champ? If you truly wish to Yeah, Duke. I love you, but I gotta go. Hundred percent accurate to Romania. I pretty much figured that you guys deal with the stuff on the regs. Also, this whole area, apparently, this kind of fog and this whatever's going on here is like a flower that Donna Beneviento uses, and then it makes you hallucinate. And then her cadeau, she spread it among her dolls, so that's why they're all alive. So it's like one shared consciousness between all of them, which is pretty cool. What? Ethan, come with me. There's something I have to tell you. Mia? Is it that you're a fake? And I'm forced to walk. I hate this section the most. Ah, it's not so bad on a repeat playthrough. It's a little slow in regards to... This is probably like the slower section. Ethan, this in the intro me. to try and like crank numbers out of. The hell is this? Everyone leaves me. What's the best gun? I don't know. I think it's the stake. I don't want to be alone. But I don't know if the hand cannon is this better. Be I haven't picked that up yet. I think the stake does the most damage. Her family is full- or her garden is full of flowers and after killing her they're all gone. Yeah, that's cool! What's going on? I don't know, Ethan. Kind of annoying that they keep making Ethan say lines like that. Like Moreau flies out in front of him in fish form. And he's like, "What was that?" It's like, really, dude? After what you saw in Seven and the start of this game, Lydia Dimitrescu turning into a fucking Batman villain, and you're still like, "What the hell has happened? That's impossible!" No, it's not, Ethan. It's very possible, nay, probable. I kept calling Ethan dumb because of that stuff, and everyone was like, No, he's the best dad ever! Fuck you! Like, okay. Sorry, I didn't know he was your dad. Yeah, to be fair, weird shit happens to him all the time. you think he'd be used to it by now, though. Oh, I can't skip that. Dollhouse is probably the best part of the game. It's up there. Dollhouse and the castle, I think, are my favorites. It's castle, then dollhouse, then factory, and then Moreau section kind of stinks.
it just kind of feels like this is a different game within this game. You know, everything else is all like action and then it's like one big, like, defenseless horror section. So it kind of doesn't fit in the middle of them, but I'm glad it's here. Because it's really, really fun. Everyone was talking about the, the castle and Lady D the entire time. And I was like, bro, everyone be sleeping on Beneviento. Cool. Banana, thank you for so much for the gifted subs. Thank you. And strawberries, thank you. Neve, thank you for the prime. Nick, thank you for the sub. Wireless and G Frankie and Callisto. Thank you guys for the primes and the subs as well. Wait, where's my gun? I don't know. It's a hallucination. It's probably in your back pocket. Wait, can I do the ring section without the ring? I keep forgetting what the code for the ring is. It's like 250811 or something like that. Or 29. 052911. Okay, thank you. Because then I don't actually have to wash it off. 052911. I can just go straight there, right? I'll use the key here, though. Thank you! Wait, I, I picked up the winding key, didn't I? Why is this here? See, that. I don't know, Ethan! Why is anything fucking happening? Oh, this I can't remember, though. Oh, shit. Oh, that's it. <laughs> right? Boom, speed run. <laughs> I'm so game. What that mouse do? No! That's your eyeballs! I don't care what your eyeballs do. They can see me asking for who cared. Not listening. Hi, fake Nia. Uh, what was this? Uh, Teddy... Teddy Book Baby Gift. I need to just memorize those things so I don't have to sit here and read. Uh, The Wanted Gamer, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Libra, thank you so much for the five, thank you. French Hazelnut, thank you for the sub. Speed run, huh? Oh, my red light died. Oh man, I didn't even realize. The fetus demon, I don't know if there's faster ways around it. I kinda, like, there's a section where you get to the, the room and you have to hide under the bed, but I don't know if you can do that quicker. I'd have to look up some other speedruns to see if you can shave off any time there. I also thought you had to answer this phone. You don't. Let me throw! I don't care if fake me is gone. Or here. Thank you. Nope, not listening. La la la, hate that song. Leave it to the answering machine. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, oh wait. Ja. This section is so cool. It's so much like the ring. You just need to see Mia come out of the well with her hair in front of her face. That's what the baby's gonna sound like. So like most babies, actually. Here he come! Demon baby! Run! They don't want to play! Goo goo gaga! This is my house now, baby. They're living in my world! Relief of a child. I'm getting zero relief from this fucking child. Getting nothing but hardship. So I think... I always just trigger the baby here and then go back in here and wait. I wonder if there's a quicker way of doing it. Because the baby turns around and goes back anyway. So I feel like if I leave and go the other direction, I'm going to get caught by it the other way. I don't think I can get around fast enough for when it's here. That's not my child. He's got backwards back feet as well. Shoot it, I wish. I don't have any guns. Just imagine if that's the speedrun tactic. Just shoot the shit out of it. Also, I don't think I noticed that the doll was there the first time. Yeah, this section, I feel like, is where there's probably a way of saving a ton of time on it. Fierce Dark Lads! You have to trigger the baby here, and then you have to go back to the room and wait for the baby to... <laughs> it's so creepy. It's not funny! Also didn't notice the crystal in the village for the first time? I know! God, the amount of people in the comments who are just... ...leaving the worst kind of comments all the time, being like... Jack, you fucking dumbass! I can't believe you missed that! God, you're so fucking bad at video games! I'm like, okay, Jesus. Finished the game, didn't I? You got to watch it for free, didn't you? Shut the fuck up. Now we're speedrunning, baby! Hello! You know, old man hands. Look, his feet are backwards. Ew. Okay. I think it's safe. Go, 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 go! Run! Peace and serenity. I think I went the long way. Shit. Oopsies. Come on in, baby. Come into my study. 
We need to have a talk. <laughs> you just defeat us. Playtime's over, child! Nice. Ugh. So gross! Hats off to the designers for that. Such a cool looking creature. Baby. Uh-huh. Try and find me. <laughs> okay. Oh, I wonder where you could be. I think there's only one spot where she can be in two locations. I think she's always here the first time, and she's always in the same place the third time. But the second time, she's either right next to the door, or she's in, like, the kitchen area. Fucking monster. I'm coming! Turns out I'm the demon in this playthrough. What's up, George? Yeah, so she's either here or somewhere like behind me. No, I'm trying to find my daughter. Why you gotta be mean? Kinda fucked up. Yeah, the challenge for this one is to kill her in a minute 40, but I feel like she's the easiest one to do that with. Because it's just about finding her, it's not about actually doing enough damage. My, my reaction too, and my eyes! Okay, bye now. Thank you for the key. So that's who's behind all this? Thanks too. That maze too. <laughs> Flashbang out. Aria, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Couldn't find the button. <laughs> Did I miss the cre the creepus fetus? Sorry, yeah. So it happens when we're plowing through it. Shadow, thank you for the two gifted. Arsenic, thank you for the prime. Anonymous, thank you for the sub. Uh, Jade, thank you for the eight months. Juicy, thank you for the prime. Unholy God, thank you for the prime. And Simmer, thank you for the prime. Lady Bismuth, thank you for the prime. Need anything here, right? Just leave. Uh, G H Goy. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry. I give it the ten gifted subs and T Hawk for the five. Thanks. Oh. Fuck it, I'm just leaving. I wanted the gems, but I don't care that much. <clears throat> yeah, this is Ethan in full military training. He's just plowing ahead.
Is the Heisenberg part the hardest to speedrun? I don't know. I I wouldn't really call what I'm doing speedrunning. For me personally, it's like trying to do the game fast, but I'm not like trying to hit leaderboards or anything like that. I feel like that's what actual speedrunning is. Can you buy the Beneviento doll? Because I really want one. That would be really cool. I would love to be able to get one of those. Well, would I? Or would I be afraid that it'd come to life? I think I... I'm not that superstitious. I'm a little stitious. I didn't need to kill those pigs, by the way. They just deserved it. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. And another gifted sub as well, thank you. The Delightful Tragedy, thank you for the Prime. Undesirable, thank you for the sub. Alfonso, thank you for the Prime. Adam Origins, thank you for the Prime. I'm <laughs> not speed running, I'm speed strolling. <laughs> speed walking. <laughs> Christopher Walken's uh, more drugged up brother. What's up, Ray? Long time no see. Damn, freak. I hope you've been well. Bro, bro. I hope your GTA adventures are going well, Ray. I catch little bits of them every now and then, but it's... It's a time sink even to watch that content. So much of it. Sputnik, thank you so much for the gifted subs. Give me that bow key! My boat! Might be thinking about Rust again too. Ooh, baby! Yeah, sorry everyone got new skins for Rust. That was cool. For the drops. Half of these guys, I don't even need to be doing anything to. It's just fun to plow through them. What GPU does Jack use? An RTX 3090. They're revamping the map. Ooh, in Rust. Pause champ. Does J10 have to make a return? Honestly, I don't think all of us would get back into it at the same time again. I feel like too many people got burnt out on it. I might try it again some point though. This section is probably the most tedious to speedrun actually. Because I have to like wait for the fish man to go by in certain places. What's my CPU? An i9 9900K. Said the exit's on the block. I mean, you kind of need good components if you're going to stream. Especially if I'm streaming a game like this where you want it to look really nice, but also run really well. You kind of need the quality to be there. And the ability of your hardware to keep up with that.
Nice food. Good one, Ethan. Thank you. All right. Kind of clean. Not gonna lie. Kind of clean. Clayman, thank you so much for the gifted subs. <laughs> Mia? Mia! Come on. Come on. Shit, I missed one. Damn it! I thought I pressed F on it. Fuck! It's going so smoothly. That stinks. It's trying to be too quick. Should be fine now, right? My god. That's the first time I've died doing this that quickly. Why am I dying though? Did you go orange to blue? Like that? Doesn't work. I can't believe you've done this. It's blue, orange, white. Okay. Well, the other route always worked for me. Seriously, this always works. I don't know why it's not working this time. Oh, I guess I can hit these ones on the way back, right? Uh, oh, Jesus. Because I always just do it like that. I think I'm doing it too quick, honestly. I fucked it up again. Please just stay. Please just stay. Please just stay. Thank you. Okay, well that was annoying, but we did it. Does that just reset the clock? Like, if you restart a section... Does it just redo it? Or does it add to time? Resets. Well, that's fine then. And it still won't count too bad towards the run. Adds the time? Oh, God. Well, never mind. That stinks. <laughs> so basically, no one in chat actually knows. <laughs> Everyone's giving me different info. Well, we'll see. It's still fun to do, regardless. Call myself a big one. Sure did, Ethan. I need to get out of here. Huh? 
So that those switches I need to figure out the mechanics of a bit better than... Because la the last three times I did it, I just did it the way I did it the first time. And it never really affected it. White, orange, blue works all the time. That's what I did. It didn't work. Oh, white, orange, blue. I did white, blue, orange, I think. Good to know. Bye, stink man! White, orange, blue, blue drops fastest. Okay. Okay. Okay! Yes, Ethan! That's what I just said! This one, I never actually figure out. I just keep turning stuff on and off until it makes the most green bars. Uh-oh. Uh oh, there we go. Because it's supposed to be like, oh, you turn it and then do that, but I just keep clicking things anyway. Because the first time through, I didn't realize that one of the squares was uh, blacked out. Got it. I should have just kill him here. That'd be awesome. Um I'm the best. Let's see if I can make some pipe bombs. Is lay the actual currency of Romania? Am I even pronouncing that right? Yep. Oh, cool. Can you show yourself? I also don't know any, like, strategies for this. Okay, it's auto-aiming at it. At his stomach. Shit, if I was on the other one, I could have still shot him. Like, I don't know how to trigger him to come down, or how to trigger his thing to come out. Exploding him usually works. And he's it. <laughs> Exploding him works real well, actually. Discuss the exits up ahead. So that's three pieces of my baby now. We're doing well. What the hell is the exit? <laughs> I don't know these controls! Nice. How can I say that so casually? We've been through a lot. I have three pieces of my child now. Just one more and I have the whole Exodia collection. Exodia is technically five.
Wait, is Exodia 5? <laughs> oh, what happened? Because it's the two arms, the two legs, the head, and the body, right? But this one's it's just arms, legs, body, head. Man, that sucks that those switches mess me up. We were going so smoothly, too. Are the goats here? Hi, goats! You can live this time. I deem it necessary. I think the factory I'm gonna get a little lost in. I was gonna get fucked up going around in there. Because I think there's faster ways of getting to certain places, but I keep forgetting how to get around in it. And this stronghold can be a bit tricky. Well, maybe not with this going on this difficulty, but let's see. Oh God, what are you aiming at? Do you keep your speed upgrades from the Duke? Yeah, anything you bought food-wise, you get to keep for the next runs as well. It's really cool. It's a really nice new game plus. There's crazy good replay value in this game. Is the difficulty low? Yeah, just to see if we can uh, blast past the enemies quicker. Which clearly, yes, we can. Aiming his leg. Let me aim wherever I want. I guess if I don't scope in, I can. But then that happens. Uh. I don't want your animation, sir. We can still get sub two hours must be their dead. on this run now. Uh, this might still actually be quicker. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Bye! Oh, there's one behind me. kind of sucks normally. Well, I guess not if you know which enemies are showing up when. As long as you have a few pipe bombs, it's pretty quick. Next is um, the dude, right? Hammerman? Uh, 
Uh, Mr. Twisted, thank you for the six months. Divine, thank you for the five. Random, thank you for the prime. Homie, thank you for the seven months. Perplex, thank you for the sub. Casey, thank you for the five months. Michael for the prime. Bryce, thank you for the two months. <laughs> I gotta be able to read out stuff when I can. The British man! Thank you for the prime. Yeah, it is him. Also, I don't really know any tactics for him. Shoot the shit out of him, pipe on them, I guess. I don't even, even know if my bullets count while he's up there, or if I should wait for him to come down. Alright, you can get him before he comes down. Wait, he might actually have to come down, I don't know. Plus, I want the thing that falls out of him. Oh, that was him. <laughs> what happens if you killed him before? I think they're different. I don't think he's the same one that shows up at the start of the game, right? Oh, there's a lot of crystals and shit here. Just get whatever ones you can. And just go. He's the one at the start of the game? Then how does that make any sense? How is there two of them? Because he explodes. Unless she remakes him. Because doesn't a guy come back... at the end? Is he the same one that Chris fights at the end? Um, There's nothing down there, I don't think. He has mold? I know, but he explodes. I guess that doesn't mean much in the mold world. Is that all four things? Yeah, we're going straight to factory now. It's his brother? Oh! The one Chris fights. Interesting. It's not really super clear when you're playing it. It just looks like he comes back with a, a mace instead of a hammer. And you know, he has a Batman mask. And that's it. To see you return alive. I guess you have to look up the names in the figure menu to see that they're different. No thanks. What was that? Uh, I would like to repress my memories, please. Where's Thick Mommy? She's been dead for like an hour. <laughs> We fucked her up! Perhaps he hasn't laid eyes on <laughs> I didn't know he does that. That's kind of fun. He said perhaps he hasn't laid eyes on me, like I'm not paying attention to Duke. I got the baby collectible. It's PSA 10! I like how Duke replaced Booba as MVP. Look, Booba are temporary, but friendship is forever. Duke's a homie. Ken Xavier, thank you for the gifted sub. Mythic, thank you for the four months. Uh, Chance, thank you for the sub. Darcy, thank you for the gifted sub. Thank you. Blah, 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 blah. Ethan Winters. Don't worry about the kid, Ethan. I don't know how I didn't hear it before, but everyone keeps saying that he sounds like Nick Cage. And he has like Nick Cage energy. I'm like, oh my god, he does. I thought he not noticed that when I was playing the game. 
seems so obvious now. Did you ever lose your baby until you piss blood? That's what Nick Cage would say. I like you. Mother Miranda. He's also. He's Gavin and Kamsky from Detroit, right? What are you planning? Who knows what he's planning, Ethan? Even I don't know. I don't know where I'm going, even. Oh, is it? Fall through the trash hole, Ethan! Magneto Nick Cage. Dude, Nick Cage would be an awesome Magneto. Nikolai from Resi 3 Remake? Yeah. He's the, like, Russian dude. From Resi 3 Remake. Climb? Hello? Weird. There's no climb button, so I just have to walk into it a bunch. Aimbot. Aimbot wall hacks. Are there any Resi games that let you jump? I don't think so. I don't think you can jump in any of them, right? This place is messed up. Uh huh. I've got to get upstairs. Uh huh. Yeah, the guy who's voicing Chris in this one is the guy who voiced Carlos in Resi 3 Remake. Which. I don't know why. They made him voice... I mean, it suits him, but... It's just, all I can hear is Carlos. Shit. Can I kill you? Pretty quick. <laughs> I wish they did the thing again where whatever item you have on you that actually fits the thing you're putting it into, it just auto selects that. Because I think it did that in 2, or... Maybe not 2. I think 7 maybe did it. It's kind of annoying to scroll through your items. It's like, I know what I'm supposed to use, just... Seems if I have it, show it. Would also help for time reasons here. I don't trust myself to not get hit by these. Okay, never mind. That took too long. Oh! I slowed down for a second. All I hear is Kamsky when Heisenberg speaks. Well, I've, it's been so long since I played Detroit that now I can't remember how Kamsky sounds. He's a very distinct voice in this game. So I didn't know if- I couldn't remember if that was his actual voice, or if he's putting on, like, a voice for this. What am I doing?
I don't need to go in there. I don't know why I'm doing that. Cog mold? Mold? Ethan loses his mind. Don't say mold! Coggers! <laughs> Cog champ! The mold, Ethan, what does it mean? Wait, what's the fastest way back to there? Right here. How many of these can I just run away from? Oh god, he scared me. Oh, Ethan. Such a disappointment. Stop. I thought we could join forces well, against I that took the, bitch I took the scenic route on that one. Truly. Fuck your door! Yeah. Oh god. Locked us away in the village. Oh, God, where am I going? Can you I get so lost. Understand that humiliation. What? Are you still talking? Jesus. I'm Sounds like someone has some parental issues. Hey, yeah, yours is on your back. Oh, no, it's not. Get it! Ow. All right, fucking rude. I'm leaving then. Oh god, I killed him without even having to do the thing. These are the fruits of my I'll get power. your stuff while I'm waiting. The strong will Thank you. destroy the weak. That's the way of the world. S shush! You should have never refused me, Ethan. I mean, I know. I just... I didn't have a choice. The game was just like, hey, do this. Oh, he's not dead. Whoops. Thank you! See, all those little things I probably could tighten up my time on. Ah! Ah, you again? I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Oh god, he's gonna be so easy to fight. Uh, I don't think I need anything in this room. <gasps> Dookie, come on up! He does sound like Nick Cage. I know! It's so weird, and I didn't even think about it! What? I mean, no. you do. You are throwing the biggest tantrum of all time. You built an entire metal army to fight your mom. That's baby behavior, bro. Smart baby shit, but baby shit nonetheless. I love that Ethan's just like, I don't fucking care. Give me back my child. <laughs> Oh, I can't aim at those from here. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Let's do it when I get closer. Alright, fellas. Another one. Oh. Well, that didn't fucking work, did it, Ethan? Can you stop throwing your pipe bombs off the edge of the building? No, aim down! The auto aim won't even let you aim at the fucking guy. Okay, 
Okay. Turn, turn, turn. God, that went terribly. You just die faster next time? Jesus. Help a guy out. Help a girl out, would you? Can't reach that. Can't aim any higher. That is not Pog. Speed run, by the way. Sage reference? I don't know if you're trolling or not. <laughs> All right, so far, so yes. Infinite ammo stay cards out. I know. I want it so bad. It's gonna be so cool when I get that. Just one tap and everything. Oh no! This is what it was like when I met Lady D for the first time. I got swept off my feet. And then nearly decapitated and killed. But who's gone? Shit. That was close. That was pretty close, yeah. Walk so slow on pipes. Just speed run, Ethan. Your child's missing. Don't you care? We all got time to walk slow on pipes. My ruts. It's all over for your kid. Ever the whole village. But don't worry, I'll stop it. Were they just like I'll do whatever the fuck you want? To kill Miranda. for these lines. <laughs> Poor Papa. He mold. Mold. <laughs> Take Rose. I'd like to see you try. Ethan, they already did. We've been over this. I'd like to see you try to take my daughter that you've already taken and split into four parts. Just try do that again. And then I got all the parts back and I put her in the altar and then I just left her there. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> what up, Duke? I wish I could go into the shop while we're going down. Now, I don't know the fastest way through this bottom area to get back to the key. I think both ways are pretty long, aren't they? It's dark. It's dark. Thank you, Captain Shylock. It's dark down here, bro. You might want to be careful. Some lunatic with a gun might come by. Excuse me, it's dark down here? I just thought you'd like to know. What's that? It's dark? You should have listened to me. I told you it was dark. go back out the same way and then oh, I think I still have to fight the big dude, right? And away I go.
Uh, turn to me. Please. Please. Thank you. Wait, which is the way I came in? Is it this way? Is this the fastest way out? Oh god, am I going deeper down? I do have to fight both. God, stink it. Just take all of these. Thank you! What a lovely man! Died twice for me. What a homie! Hey, Duke! Hmm, yes. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Rock, paper, scissors, huh? Oh! Why didn't I put it together that he has garlic up? Well, I mean, it could be for feed- or for food, for feeding. But it could also be because vampire ladies! They're not real vampires, Duke. She just grew super tall and loves eating blood. Pretty much anybody tall can do that. Oh. Tired of chit they just shouldn't do that, dude. Time to die. Too so bad you will die. Can you Wait. step on that? What the? How did you miss that? Jesus. Night. Can I... Are you dead? I think he's dead. Now stay dead. <laughs> you know, I'll just take this back. You ungrateful piece of shit. Some people, huh? You give them a mine, and they do fucking nothing with it. That was nice. I was just have the Heisenberg fight, which can be... I guess on easy mode, it's going to be fairly quick. But... It can still be a little annoying. Up we go! We're very close to the end now. Like, five, ten minutes close. Oh, I thought I just had to walk through. Not, again. Damn it, again! I'd like to see you push me off the top of a thing again. I'd like to see you chop off my hand again. <laughs> Fifth time today? No, not again, Stink. Thank time. I'd like to see you try and take my baby again like you did before again. I'm coming, Rose. Thanks for the tank, Chris. <laughs> Thanks. Get it? Heisenberg fight is hilarious. Yeah, I didn't even realize that he calls Chris a boulder-punching asshole. <laughs> I completely missed that the first time. Again, look, my attention's all over the place. Also, sorry if I sounded harsh reacting to people who were just complaining all the time in the series. I just... So many comments over and over again saying the same stuff and being incredibly toxic and... just annoying. Gets in your head after a while. I thought it was a very fun series. You're like a, a little bit. I mean, I'll admit, yeah. I'm a little bit like a cock. Oh, thanks. Stay back. Safe distance. Come on. There you go. Come on. Stop blocking me. Come on. Show me your little holes. That sounds wrong. <laughs> Kaboom! Kaboom! Ow! Whoops! I didn't realize I wasn't hitting the the thing. Are you dead yet? Oh, he is kind of. He's doing the walk of shame. <laughs> Whee! We 
we're soaring, flying. Oh, I have to do the whole Chris section still. Oh man. Yeah, here it. He's about to say it. To be fair, it's very fucking hard to hear what he's saying because it's wrapped in all of the explosions. He done? I think he's done. All right, well that's the Heisenberg fight done. God, I totally forgot the whole Chris section is to come. That's annoying. Chris section isn't that long. No, but it's just adding time. Uh-huh. Dude, we're on the clock here. Boom! Now we wait for cutscene. Cool. Now Chris section. I can't skip the Chris stuff immediately either, though. Like the for some reason, you can only s you can't skip cutscenes when characters are talking like this. It says like P to skip, but you can't actually do it. I don't know why. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. Like the earliest thing you can skip it is there. Wow, since we fought together, Captain. Sure, has been breast. The desert. Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard you turn herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at either. I mean, is this your first resi? Weird shit happens all the time. Everyone, watch for hostile bio. You realize how many times I fought Wesker? Made contact with a group of hostile firefighters. It's more than we thought. Watch out. There's more than you thought. You guys need crap recon. Okay, I probably can just run by all them, right? Western route is clear. Moving out. Roger that. But I just don't want to get stuck in one of their grab animations. That would be annoying. Two guards. <laughs> I can take them. Don't get cocky. I can take them. I like that. Chris is like, don't get cocky, bro. Chill, chill the fuck out, would you? Bam, 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 bam. It's Mother Miranda. That's probably what Miranda is. Let's go. Like, do I have to fight these big dudes? I think I can probably just skip them, right? Oh, Roger. whoops. Tundra here, leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. I forgot. Help yourself. I don't have time for supplies! I have infinite ammo! Umberize, I need some backup. Too hungry to the point. I've never heard of a mutant my sea colony can be so good. Ah, see. That's what I mean, trying to run by everything. And then getting caught. Sorry, I have to reload! I have to reload! I have to reload! Bye! Oh my god. A little faster, Chris! Military training! Military training! Come on! Marking the target. Roger that, boss. Infinite ammo is new game plus, not uh, easy mode. Though they do go very well hand in hand together. Reloading now. Just a minute. It's a small pity that way. Yeah, see the the reloading aspect of his thing is what's gonna annoy me. Or slow me down. 
Thankfully, these guys go down very quickly. Okay, well, in the meantime, I'll just do this. I don't have horses. They scare me. They're large. They have a lot of power. Where are my bullets going? Because if you leave it long enough, more of them will spawn and mess up the cycle of the reloads. They can hide here and usually not get hit by anything. Like the arrows. I wonder if there's like a much quicker way of doing that. I feel like there's ways of shaving off like a minute in each area that I'm not aware of. Nades? Nades? Any nades? Any nades? This stuff originated here, bro. It was fucking mental. All right. What's up, Bjork? Guarding the mega mice, huh? Cause this guy, you can shoot the thing on his back and like speed him up. Um, but the the fastest I've gotten it is two reloads on the the I thing. Tough guy here. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need backup. There's an opening in the roof. Use it. Like, can I just keep shooting them? Out. Reload. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Good. I'll signal with the locator. Give it a break. Seen that? Give me your mace. <laughs> I'll keep going. The rest of you that was dope. stay above ground. The fastest I've gotten it is that I shoot the thing once and then he falls over and then I shoot a bunch in his back and then I get a second thing in his I get a second reload of that thing and shoot it from the sky and then he's dead. I've never done it with one. Moldy little bitch. Okay, now we just have the Miranda fight and we're done. It's that big tree, baby. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony. Not the first mold Keep baby I've seen. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. It's like, we're in the middle of battle, bro. Don't we fucking berate me now. Miranda I know. So I know my shortcomings. Even so, you should have told him. Oh, we should have wanted to do good, but I didn't, huh? For, fuck you, bro. Yeah, these are the documents I missed, because I was looking at all the pictures on the roof, and then I just bypassed them all. But I left them as a pinned comment on the video anyway, so people could read them. <sighs> Evelyn! Why am I a mold? Why am I a mold, baby? Why can I make mold babies? Do I have mold sperm? There's a lot of questions, Evelyn! <sighs> I'm gonna take one stop at the Duke. I don't know if menu time counts as overall time. But I'm gonna chance it, because I need to upgrade the steak. I gotta go. 
And I want to talk to Duke one last time. Naturally. Naturally. And I have to sell off all these. Does anybody know if this stuff counts towards time? Or is, like, the game paused now? I didn't even get that. Oh, the assemblage of life and machine. I can uh, now where's the stuff for the steak? Steak improved grip. Yes. I think that's all the stuff for the steak. I think every gun gets like two. Aha. Nice. Wow. It takes a fuck ton of money. I'm gonna need like two more runs to upgrade this thing. Please be well. Okay. Thanks. And away I go. That Moreau section might have really messed me up. Run, Ethan, run! I don't have time for walking. What's the stake? It's the like super magnum gun. It's probably actually worth equipping that for. Yeah. Now you can start running. There you go. Probably better to equip that for the fight, right? I gotta keep going. But I don't know. You fulfilled your purpose, You disposed of my false children. Like, does that still count as damage towards her when she's in that form? Oh, I guess it does. Now, please do not worry for little Rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with truth. I'm just spamming. I'm not letting you get away. Now, Mr. Lucas, I think it's time we left things in my hands. Oh. Well, that was that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. God, it doesn't do nearly as much damage there. Come on. God, that almost fired too slow at the end. Would have been better to change weapons. Alright, let's see it. told you 150 I could feel it damn that's pog champ I wanted sub two hours we fucking did it baby oh man I am speed damn it's crazy one of the playthroughs I've seen using like the stake and infinite ammo is like an hour four minutes it's like where are you get where are you shaving off the time I guess it's Maybe it's just that much easier with the steak. That's insane! 152! And I can be faster. I think we can get that down to like... I feel like I could get that down sub 140. Or 130 even. If I really tried. That's... that's fast. It took me... What was it? Nine hours to do the full game? Like, taking my time. I missed a few little things here and there. It would have added like a half hour maybe to the game. But to get it down to that quick is crazy. 83k CP, Jesus. Okay, well we have that save file now for next time. I feel like we can really crank the tits off the game after that. I want to see if I can buy any bonuses. Um, The carabit knife, I don't want. Hand cannon, maybe. Because I can get infinite ammo for the grenade launcher. Infinite ammo for the WCX. Yes. That's going to make it so much quicker. Because that does more damage. Of course, I got these models. You have to. Yeah, in this is where you can see all their names. Like, how do you pronounce this? I don't know. And poor Ethan has no head. I don't want Mia. 
Only these count. Why else would you look at anything else? How many people went to this menu and went, Oh, I'll buy Urius before I buy anything else. No, you, you'd save your money. Oh, the mutated Demetrius could be cool, though. Donna, big baby. Eh. Eh. You guys don't got boobs. Miranda's cool, though. Miranda has a bunch. What the heck? I'm grown up Rose, yeah. <laughs> oh, Ethan. He has a face! It's It was in 7. You can see it on Google if you search up Ethan Winter's character model face. You can see it. You pronounce that one as Uriah-ish? Oh, so the accent under the S gives it like an SH sound. Um, so why not just put it in here? It's like a nice fun little thing to have at the end. Like, oh, you never got to see his face, but then if you unlock his character, you can see it. I don't know. Because there's something to be said for silent protagonists, right? Or like faceless protagonists or protagonists that you put yourself in the shoes of. But that usually only works when they don't have like personality. Like, say like Bloodborne, you get to make your own character or Dark Souls or something. You get to craft that character based on you, more or less. And then they don't say anything, they don't really interact with the world. And Gordon Freeman's kind of the same, he has a lineage to live up to. But he doesn't say anything to any characters. But Ethan has a personality. Ethan has like a character, a personality that's written by the devs and acted out by somebody. So that idea of you being him and putting yourself in his position <clears throat> doesn't really work for his uh, character. So I'm like, just give him a face. Let him interact with people. It's kind of sad that you had him for two games, built a face model for him, then kind of didn't show it ever here, and then killed him off. I don't like that. Uh, Dimitrescu, or Dimitrescu, as apparently it's supposed to be pronounced, but they just keep saying Dimitrescu in the game. Look at that dumpy. Nice. There, that's the content we're all here for. We have Bella Dimitresk. Apparently. Whoosh. Bella, Cassandra, Daniela. I feel like you could have gotten a bit more character out of them. Oh, whoops. Mutated Dimitresk. Damn, that's cool. Ah, the eyeballs move! I didn't notice that when I was shooting the shit out of it. Also, this is very much like a, a Dark Souls boss. It looks like, um... Oh shit, what's her name? Spider Lady. Spider Boobs. What's her name? Oh, the, the sisters. The Witch of Islet's daughter. Quaylag! That's it. Quaylag and Quailana. Um, she looks... She has like a Quaylog vibe to her. Don't you think? Ugh, it's all moving. Hentai, am I right? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, her name is Donna, and the the doll's name is Angie, but you never get to know any of that in the game. Like, spend some time, flesh out your characters. Let me get to know them more. There's another problem I have, is that Miranda is, like, there throughout the entire game, but she only shows really up at the end of the game. It's like, what's your plan? Your plan is to get your Eva back, or Ava, which, okay. So you take... You take Rose and split her up, but then you give a flask to each of the lords, and then I have to go kill them to get it back? Why? You had the parts. Couldn't you just put it in the chalice and then take it away and then make your daughter then? Like, why? What's, what's the purpose of me going around killing all the other lords to get the pieces? I thought it was going to be... When I was playing it, I thought it was a thing where, oh, to prove my worth and to prove who's the strongest, who can be vessels and that kind of stuff. Like, I, I thought then, like, oh, I'm the strongest. I'm Ethan Winters. I'm stronger than all of these. So I have some purpose. And then she would, like, steal my heart and use that in the ritual or something like that. Or maybe she did. Maybe that was part of the ceremony. But it wasn't very clear. Um, did you got to read the journals? Oh, yeah, Ethan writes a journal as he's playing, right? 
Um, she wanted Ethan and then didn't. Okay. I don't know. I, it's just that kind of stuff I feel like you could flesh out a little bit more. Um, and Lady D, like, have Miranda sort of as an ever-present figure. Because I remember in stuff like, like, Resi 7 has the Baker family, and you meet the four of them right at the beginning. And then throughout the whole game, they're ever-present, kind of always around. You get your sections with them, and then beating them was like, oh, it kind of, it, like, the characters are more fleshed out. I feel like here, like, some characters get a bit more fleshed out, like, Dimitrescu has a bit more to her than Beneviento does. Like, the fact that I didn't even know what the names were. Ooh, the baby moves. Ew. 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 That's so gross. Ugh. Um... And then, like, Resi 4 has... Oh, I can't even remember his name now, because they're all Spanish names, and I'm I'm terrible at remembering them. But the the dude with the beard shows up, and then when you finally kill him, it's like, oh, yeah, finally. And then you have Salazar and Sadler kind of all throughout, and they kind of show up every now and then, and you're reminded of who your big bad is. And I feel like I would have liked Miranda to show up more here and there, instead of, like, right at the beginning and then right at the end is kind of her two main points, and then everything in the middle is she's kind of missing. I feel like I wanted her to be like built up into a, a bigger badass. Her design is so cool. Flip, 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 flip. This is amazing because her, her headdress, like this thing around her head is so identifiable and her, her cloth and her garb and the wings and everything is so identifiable. I wanted her in the, I wanted her in the game more. She's really cool. Holy shit. This might be one of the cooler, like, final bosses in a Resi game. Because usually they just devolve into giant blobs in most of the other games, but this is super iconic. That's her berserk? Is that when she's, like, raining shit? Because that's just the Megamycete. That's awesome, though. I do like that the keys reflect her design. Like the Megamycete within the headdress sort of thing with all the wings around it. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I guess she does kind of devolve into a blob if she's this at some point. Um, but I feel like she's just a little underutilized. Oh, Rose. She's wearing Dad's jacket. She's got the Village of Shadows book. Floppy hair. Cool. Nice. Where's the Duke model? Oh yeah, I can get the Duke. Um, what does the Dukes look like? Whoa! It's the whole wagon. Damn, Dukey boy, what's up? Look at that hair. Swish, 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 swish. <laughs> Somebody said. Because I made fun of his haircut from the back. Somebody's like, bro, he's leading you to salvation and he's helped you the entire way. And you're out here roasting his haircut. And I'm like, fair. <laughs> Look at those toes. Hell yeah. So yeah, people theorize that he's a... Uh, because in people have like no clipped his carriage and he has a family crest like all the others have. Oh, you can actually see it... it Go back and watch any sections where I'm in the shop and where it shows the item on the right, behind that is his family crest. So people say that he's another lord or he's a cadeau, or he was given a cadeau and then he just either rejected it or he is helping you rather than attacking you or he wants to collect the other people, the other cadeau people. I think that's cool. He's a really fascinating character and I would love to see more of him. He ended up being a really great merchant, I think, and he had big boots to fill from the Resi 4 merchant, so... Good job. He also has a line that says, What are you buying? And I didn't hear it once throughout my entire time playing it for YouTube, and then the very first thing he said to me when I went to the shop on my second playthrough was that line. And that stinks. <laughs> Because he says, what are you buying? Ah, uh, just something an old friend of mine used to say. So I was like, oh, you know about him. 
But yeah, that was cool. That was fun. I'm glad I did it. <laughs> I knew I had it in me after playing it uh, a bunch of times off stream and this is my fifth time beating it now. Fifth or fourth, I can't remember. But an hour 52 is pretty quick. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that as well. It's a little different watching it like this because you're skipping all the cutscenes and you're just blasting through. But I think it's really satisfying to see just how quick you can beat some of the bosses when you've struggled on some of them before. Like, beating the beating the sisters actually is the most satisfying one because they just show up, you break the window, and then within like 10 bullets, they're dead. And I think that's cool. <laughs> Super fun to do. I might try it again on stream um, sometime this week to see if I can get it quicker than that. I probably can. I think you can get it even quicker than that, now knowing just some of the stuff. And maybe I could look up how to beat certain bosses a tiny bit quicker. But I don't think we're going to get it much faster than that. I think 130 is probably the quickest I can do it. But the fact that uh, you could do the entire game in a two and a half hour stream is kind of nuts. Super fun to do. Um... Yeah, mods, you can slow- you can take off the slow mode a bit now, by the way. Yeah, there's a lightsaber you can get as well. Isn't that this? Complete all stages with at least SS rank in the mercenaries. It's like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Maybe a lightsaber run would be fun. How much damage does the hand cannon do? I wish it told me. Um, and does the Karambit knife do more than the regular knife? Because that would be a fun knife only. Oh yeah, I'm not showing the screen, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, hold on. Here, you have the... this is the lightsaber. Uh, but you need SS rank and mercenaries. Then... Rocket pistol. Finish the main story in Village of Shadows... Village of Shadows difficulty to unlock the rocket pistol. How much damage does that do? Maxed out hand cannon does 3,100 damage. Okay, thank you, sweet. Um, so it's not as much as the stake. Stake is better. The stake is... Uh, this gun. The super-powered revolver that I was using at the end. So it might be fun to do... Uh, I think Chris's gun does... The Dragoon was what I was using that time with infinite ammo. I was using the USMA-1 before. That does a crazy amount of damage too with infinite ammo. And it's fairly easy to get for New Game Plus. The Dragoon then was easy as well. But you can't... You can't upgrade them. When you get them, you can't make them faster at shooting. You can't make them uh, have more ammo. You can't upgrade their like damage, anything like that. So you're stuck with what they are. But they do really good damage at base. But now that I've unlocked the WCX, I think that does more damage than the Dragoon. And now I hold 80 bullets and it can f fire faster. So I think it's better than the Dragoon. So that's like another playthrough to do with that. Maybe Shadows, or Village of Shadows difficulty with that one. And then I should be able to get enough money to upgrade the stake fully, because you need all the attachments for the stake, which I have, but now I need all of the stat upgrades, and then I can get infinite ammo for that, and that's where a fast run begins. Would be on that one. I don't think Ethan's dead. That's the thing that a lot of people are saying, because the at the end of the game, you see the car drive away, and there's a person walking towards them, and people have no-clipped the game and gone all the way down, and you can see that it's a, it's Ethan's character model. It's Ethan missing his fingers. Um, and everyone's like, oh, he's still alive, and oh, like, he's gonna be back in the next game, but I th I honestly think it's just them reusing a character model, or it's Rose, like, imagining him, or something like that. I don't think he's back. Because, well, I would think that, but they said that the father's story is done, and I don't think they would say that, and then bring him back anyway. Like, I feel like they would have to get rid of him completely, or not say that, or, and say the father story is done, or not say that at all. So I don't know. Because I think the next game they're hinting at that it'll be around Rose. That either you play as her, or she'll be a key 
figure in that game. And then you can't really say that the father's story is done and then bring him back as like a memory or something. I don't know. Um, but I'm excited for the next one. I think it'll be really cool. Um, I was a little harsh on some aspects of this game in my review of it after I beat it, but that was just like fresh off the press right after I did it. Like, I didn't emotionally connect to what was happening in the game. A lot of people were saying that they cried and that it was really sad and what Ethan did was amazing and all that, but like, I wasn't really that connected to it. Um, emotionally. And you know me, I get heavily invested in stories and games. I cry all the time at everything. Um, but this one, it was just a little too goofy and a little too silly to really... It's like the narrative is trying to do one thing and then the gameplay and the premise is trying to do another thing and they don't really mix for that much emotional weight. Like Ethan flying around and losing hands and biting off his fingers and him being mauled and him being dead the whole time and having a baby with his wife that's missing and it's all just a little too over the top Resident Evil, which is great. I love that. Resident Evil is awesome at doing that. But at the same time, it's just trying to do like a really heavily emotional weighted moment at the end of him dying. I'm like, oh, I see what you're going with. It's just I I was just along for like the roller coaster of it. So I just wasn't in that emotional state by the end of it to like get me on the verge of tears or anything. And it just kind of felt like a bit of a cop-out that he was like, yeah, you just... Miranda's dead and the Megamyces dead, so now the mold is dying. So go, take it, I'll sacrifice myself. I'm like, okay. If the mold's dead, then can't Rose keep you alive since she's mold too? And she's like the next iter... Well, I guess she's the next iteration of you, so I guess your powers are gone. And it was like, I, I kind of wish they gave, gave him a moment to see Rose and Mia at the end. Because it kind of sounded like they had no time. And then he, they were like in the chopper, already left. And they were in the air, and then he blew it up. It's like, I think he could have gone with them. Chris is strong. He punched a boulder. He could pick you up and run. <laughs> so it's a little goofy, but it was good. I liked it. It's just a little weird that they killed him off. It's like you... It was kind of hard getting invested in Ethan's story in 7. And now in this one, it kind of felt like, oh, finally you're giving him like a little bit more character. And he's dead. <laughs> like, I would I would have liked a third game with him, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's better that way because you fucked up some of your other characters. Like, Leon in 2 is great, and then in 4 is phenomenal, and then in 6, they kind of butchered his character. So maybe now they're like... We're just not going to do that again. We're just going to tap out when we feel like we've hit his potential. Um, so are you ending? Uh, maybe. Oh. Ryan's asking if I want to play Valorant, but he also asked... He said that they were playing at 1. That they would have a slot free, so I was like, yeah, I'll play then. Because now I haven't eaten in a while. I kind of need to get food. Um, I need to get food and I need to get today's video ready. And then I was like, I'll be ready by 9 to play, but not right now. I kind of just put off time for this uh, for right now. Uh, I'll let him know. Um, that wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to play for like an hour. Um, but I'm down to play later with them. I probably won't be streaming it from my end. I just don't really like streaming Valorant. Because it's nicer to just sit back, relax, and hang out with friends. And if they're streaming, it's fine. But I don't know. I get in my head about how I play when I, when I stream it. So I just don't play well when I stream the game. I don't play most games well when I'm streaming them. Or uh, like doing Let's Plays on them. And this game is a good example of it, because I was going through it, and as I was editing stuff, I was like, oh my god, how did I miss that? Like, some of the gems and some of the stuff, and I was talking about the guns and everything, and not selling them, I'm like, yeah, it seems so obvious now. 
But at the time, I'm like juggling all these different things as you're playing and you're trying to like make sure you're entertaining, make sure you're on time, like that you're you're still within the hour of playing the game. You're making sure that you're like paying attention to the game and the story and everything that's happening. You're trying to make sure that everybody at home is going to like have fun at the same time. And then some of the days when I like there's like a couple of episodes where I, I felt like my brain wasn't there and I can tell in the videos because I had calls to do right after. So I like finished the episode um, and the episode went on a little longer and then I had to edit it down. And then I had to do two calls right after that for like coffee and stuff and stuff about the documentary that's coming out. So I kind of felt a little rushed there. So my brain was thinking about that all the time. So any of the stuff happening in the episode, I was like scatterbrained. And then I was editing all the episodes myself, so I would have to wake up and edit them and get them all ready for that day and do the thumbnails and the descriptions and everything and make sure that all the stuff that I was supposed to edit out, because I haven't edited in a while, um, so all the stuff that I like left gaps in, I had to make sure that all of that was actually being edited out and I didn't leave in chunks that were like me being like, okay, edit that out later, I'm forgetting about it. And then on top of that, we've had construction here every single day, basically, for the last two weeks, from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day. So I couldn't get any recordings done during that period. And they're, like, jackhammering our floor and drilling into the walls and everything, so it's just impossible to do anything. So I was editing during that, and sleep schedules are just fucked, so... There was a lot going on. Um, but then in the episode, it just looks like I'm being dumb. <clears throat> And I know how frustrating that is as a viewer and something's super obvious to you and it's not being done. Um, but it was just endless comments of people talking about how stupid I was and how dumb I was for missing things and how bad the series was. And I just completely ruined it now because of that. And I, that, that got to me a lot. So I was like, man, everyone's like enjoying the series and that's great to see. And then when those comments start hitting and I was like, fuck, I'm letting people down. Like, I want the series to be as fun as it was when it started off, that everyone was having a great time. And then seeing those kinds of comments kind of gets in my head and it kind of frustrates me personally because I'm like, shit, I'm not providing the content that people had a standard for. Um, and most people still enjoyed the series and that's fine. It's just that hearing some people not have a good time, I was like, man. And it's so easy to, like, avoid that. Like, if I just paid a little bit more attention or whatever, but just to like set the scene that I'm not one to like make up excuses, but there was a lot going on during that period of recording those videos. So a lot of stuff just got missed. Well, not even a lot of stuff. It was a few little things here and there. <clears throat> we still finished the game and we still did it well. It's just, it could have been a little less tedious on my end. So I, st I still really like the series and I still, um, think that it was a fun let's play and I've gotten a lot of positive feedback on it so whatever <clears throat> but that's why sometimes I react a little more harshly because I'm like yeah there was a lot going on like you don't know <laughs> like stop berating people in the comments over and over again um so this is my uh this is my way of giving back, to be like, no, we can do it really quick if we want to. <laughs> Are you going to try getting a world record speedrun? No. I likely will never ever try doing anything like that in any of the games that I play. No matter how quick I am at them, there's always going to be someone quicker. And I don't really... Like I said, I'm too inconsistent and I'm too scatterbrained as a person for that to be a possibility. I think just my natural way of being is that... I I just, my attention is not very focused most times. That trying to do that and trying to stream it and let's play and all that kind of stuff is just, it's never going to cooperate with my brain. Um, I probably should get tested for ADD because I'm pretty sure I have it. Um, or at least some form of it. But I've just never gotten like diagnosed. And I think that that might be worth checking into. Because every time I talk to friends who have it, because I'm always like, no, probably not. I'm probably just scatterbrained and I probably just do things a certain way and just don't pay attention enough and things like that. Because I don't want to say that I have something that I'm not diagnosed for. Um, 
but all my friends who have it who are like diagnosed and are on medication for it every time i talk to them about it they're like yeah you have it yeah you you should be on some sort of medication for that I'm like oh <laughs> oops um but i like to think that that's some of my some of my charm is my scatterbrainedness because it lets me tap into some wit very quickly i can be very quick off the mark with a joke and i feel like <laughs> having nothing else that i'm focusing on allows me to tap into that very quickly um, Subnautica below zero, please. I, I said already, it's coming tomorrow. I'll be uploading it tomorrow. I have a video of, like, showing off my favorite TikToks that I've had recorded for over a week. I recorded it before Resi came out, and it's been edited for ages, that I want to get that uploaded first. And I don't want to just do, oh, here's a long Let's Play, and then BAM, here's another long Let's Play. Because Subnautica is probably not going to be daily either. Um... Just because it's not that type of game. I'll do it daily wherever I can, but... Do you feel impulsive at times? Yes. A lot. I'm very spontaneous, and I like doing things impulsively rather than planning stuff out. I absolutely hate planning stuff out. If I have, like, something to do at the end of the week, that's my whole week focused on that one task that I have to do. And it fucks up the rest of my schedule because I feel like I can't do anything else until that one thing at the end of the week is done. But I can't do it until that time, you know? <laughs> OCD, I think I have a little bit of that as well. Uh, my dad had it very badly um, in his later years. So I think I have some of that as well. Don't be too stressed. That's another thing. I'm not normally like that stressed out about stuff. Um, it's not like a debilitating, debilitating stress, um, but it's more of a, it's more like a baseline underlying stress that's always there that never fully goes away. So I'm never like fully relaxed, even when I like try my best to be. Twitch chat are doctors now. Twitch chat knows everything. Just take care of yourself. I mean, I am. I'm not in any sort of, like, bad way. There's just certain things that probably could be a little more in place. I like I like the way I am. I like that I have a bit more spontaneity to me. I feel like that's a, a really nice trait to have. And Evelyn's very, like, organized when she needs to be. So I think we mix pretty well. That if we were just the same types of personality, it would be kind of boring. Have you speedrun Bloodborne? I haven't actually. I want to I would wonder how quick I could do Bloodborne as well. I do want to do a Bloodborne playthrough on the channel sometime this year though. Um I've never done one and it's arguably my favorite game ever now. So I feel like I should I should have it on the channel. I've Shadow of the Colossus which is my other favorite game ever, so I feel like I should have a Bloodborne playthrough up there as well. That's new house coming along. Really well. Some little things here and there. The heating was a little busted, so we had to get that fixed. Um, and some stuff we're getting built in the basement. It's just, it's a little chaotic right now, but it's sort of like a self-inflicted chaos that I think it'll be worth it in the end. Um, and just having furniture still not all be here and putting bits and pieces together, like this corner of my room is still not done. Um, so there's still bits to go, but it's it's been really nice. I really love it here. Scary basement tour. <laughs> it's not going to be that kind of basement. It's like a fully furnished basement. It's not like bricks. <laughs> Rather stupid, innit? Red light basement. Spooky. Try GTA RP. I mean, we've talked about it a bunch on the... Uh, we've talked about it a bunch here on streams, but it's just, it's a bit too much of a time commitment for me to get into. It's like, it's fun, and I, I would really like to try it out, but I feel like I would do it like three times, and then I just wouldn't have the time for it after that, or I wouldn't be able to commit fully to it. And then I'm like, eh, I don't really want to take up a slot and get in... Um, and play it that way and kind of like 
make a character and then just not commit to it. Why isn't the game making any sound? It had music for a while and now it's kind of gone. I don't know why. Anyway, I'm probably going to go eat. Um, will I play Resi 7 again? Um, maybe. Probably just for my own time, though. Probably not for streams or videos. When is Top of the Morning Tea coming? Soon. We made the official announcement the other day that, like, yes, it's coming. And showed off, like, a little logo and stuff on Twitter. <clears throat> I don't know if we added a date to it. Stream Resi 4. I've actually been playing Resi 4 in my spare time as well. I finished... Um, I like having at least one game that I can play in my spare time. And recently, when, we were, when I was doing Resi Village, um, and during the periods of the day when I couldn't actually record or do anything, I was playing Returnal um, and finished that. And that was a super fun game. I don't think it's worth the price tag right now, but really, really cool. And then... After I did that, I was playing Resi 4, kind of alongside this one. Resi 2 Remake speedrun? I would like to play Resi 2 Remake again. Maybe not speedrun, but it would be fun to play it. How do you spend your pandemic time? Chilling. Just relaxing, trying to enjoy my day. I'm trying not to do too many things. Because it's easy to just build up, like, like I could take on 10 sponsor deals right now if I wanted to. I turn down so many of them all the time, and I could do all these projects, and I could do so many different things and work with so many different people, and I could put so much on my plate if I wanted to. But I, I really like having spare time, just sitting down and reading, like, a chapter of Berserk. Um, I got another manga I want to start soon is Vagabond, which looks really cool. Um, and just spending time... We watched Mortal Kombat last night, the 2021 version, which is really good. I mean, for what it is. Um, as a movie overall, like, it has shortcomings, of course, but I thought it was really fun. <clears throat> People were way too harsh on that movie online. It's like, what did you expect? It's Mortal Kombat. Um, <clears throat> so, been just trying to do things that we want to do. Just chill out, have fun. Um, but then I want to want to start Subnautica more. I might record another one of those. Oh, no, I don't have time tonight. Um, record more of that tomorrow. But we'll have the TikTok video tonight. You guys, I wanted to do a, a video like... Because I posted a few more TikToks and I've been watching a little bit more TikTok. So I wanted to do any of the ones that I that actually made me laugh. I wanted to like them and then do a video reacting to those like Jenna Marbles used to do. And I say this all in the video as well, but those videos were always super fun where it was just hanging out with Jenna and reacting to the videos that made her laugh so you could get a sense of her humor. And I wanted to do that. So I that's basically what tonight's video is. So some of the ones that you might have seen them, you might have not. Some of them are Irish that I feel like are only getting recommended to people from there. So hopefully that's a fun video that you guys enjoy. Uh, Vincent edited it and it was really fun. Uh, but yeah, that's going up in like two hours, so get ready for that. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'm so glad I was able to do that in less than two hours. And we managed to get it done. That was very, very fun to do. Um, and I'm going to throw you over to Ryan, um, who I'm probably going to be playing with later once I get all my stuff done. So you can... I was going to type it in his chat. You can expect to see me there later, or at least hear me there on his stream. Um, we usually have a lot of fun on his. Ryan's, Ryan's probably my favorite person to play Valorant with because he's really, really fucking good at the game, but he always, also knows when to just dick around and joke around. And the more we hang out and the more we play together, the more I realize that me and Ryan are basically the same person and we've watched all the same things. <laughs> so go, be nice. Uh, go give him a follow and a sub if you want to. Um, not obligated, of course, but go be positive more than anything else. Um, and hit him with a frog emoji. He'll know what it means. Uh, but yeah, thanks, guys. I'll see you again. We'll be doing another stream of this again probably this week, maybe, or something else. But yeah, see you then. Bye-bye.
Like it sounds like you're trying to make it sound like you're.